What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now as you all know, I recently installed the ARB air compressor into the Land Cruiser. ARB offers two types of compressors that can air up the tires on your vehicle. One is a single compressor, the other is a twin. I chose the single compressor purely based on cost. The twin compressor would have been double what I paid. The only difference between the two is that the single compressor takes a little bit longer to air up compared to the twin compressor. But how long can it possibly take? Let me show you. First things first, just turn the car on. Turn the compressor on. As you can see, right now, the tire pressure is roughly about 18. Uh, that's usually what I have when we uh, air down. So let's see how long it'll take to get us back up to about 35. Ready, go. Right there is right about 35 is uh, enough for me to drive home. So it took two minutes and 26 seconds. So airing up one tire wasn't too bad, but when you have to air up all four on the side of the road, it takes a toll on you. To speed things up a little bit, I decided to get this guy. This is the Viair one gallon air tank, and this should hold enough air or almost enough air for one single tire. So you might ask, how is the air tank supposed to help you with uh, airing up your tires? Isn't that the compressor? Well, it is, but it isn't. The ARB air compressor actually has a small little tank attached to it, which is built in, that holds a very, very small amount of air. Once that little chamber is full, then the compressor turns off. By installing this guy, I will have a bigger chamber so the compressor will continually stay on if I'm per se moving from one tire to the other or I can have it charged up before I even get started. That way the process of transferring compressed air from the air compressor into the tires itself will be a lot quicker. You might also be asking, why go with the Via air tank? Why not go with the ARB? Just like all the other stuff that's in the truck. Well, again, it boils down to purely cost. This guy, which is one gallons, was about $45 on Amazon. The ARB equivalent, which is also one gallon, is about $150. Before we get started, if you're enjoying this video or you'd like to see more videos like it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, let's put this guy into the car. So for the install, obviously you'll need the tank. Now this specific tank comes with four ports and out of the four, only two will be used. So we've got a couple of these plugs. These guys, the adapters, quarter inch to dash three AN fitting. Last but not least, I have the air hose that's gonna connect the air compressor to the tank. For this guy, I'm using an old brake line that I had laying around. This is a dash three brake line with a 90 degree at one end and a straight at the other end. Now, depending on how you mount it and where you mount it, you might need a longer line or a different bend, um, but this is the way that I'm gonna be doing it. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's in the car. So I decided to mount my air tank right here in this area, right behind the compressor. Um, this is where the secondary battery would usually go, but obviously I'm not doing that. So the air tank is gonna go here. First things first, you do have to drill two holes uh, where the air tank will mount. This is a half inch hole, so it's a pretty big hole. Uh, make sure you drill two, measure correctly, and um, this is where it's gonna sit. Next up, I'm gonna have to install this little plug into the two ports that we're not using. But first of all, you'll definitely need some Teflon tape. And then this bottom one is another one that we're not gonna use, so that's gonna get plugged up. So for the last two ports, we've got this guy and this guy. One of them has to go to the compressor. This one I'm using to the compressor, and this one will be for the curriculums for the air hose. So the side with the compressor, I'll need to install one of these guys, which is a quarter inch MPT to dash three AN line. 
right here. And there we go. So for this next bit, you're gonna need to disconnect the pressure kill switch right here. We're gonna take off this guy because this is gonna go on the top of the tank. And we're gonna rotate this guy facing this way, parallel with the compressor itself. Now the pressure switch has to come out too because the line from the compressor to the tank will come out of here and I'm going to have the pressure switch up here. This one right here is going to go to our air hose so it needs this little adapter. Again, it's a quarter inch MPT to a dash three AN fitting. Now on the top, this one is gonna be for the pressure sensor. So of course, re-teflon everything, screw it in. And there we go. This is the port for the tank. Pressure switch is up here. To mount the air tank, you gotta somehow squeeze your hand underneath the battery tray to get the bolts through. Some ratcheting wrenches would help a lot right here. Well, that was pretty annoying. So this is where we're at so far. We've got the tank solidly mounted. We've got the adapter T, which is rotated a little bit. We have the AN adapter from quarter inch MPT to a dash three AN line. Pressure sensor is put up top now. And over here, we also have the uh, other adapter, also quarter inch MPT to a dash three AN line. So all that's left is to hook up the lines from there to there. And then we're going to hook up the uh, quick release for the air hose. Okay, so next up is the dash three line. So we're going to hook it up to this side of the tank right here. And then we're going to hook this side up to the compressor itself. You got to be careful with these guys. They don't like to be over tightened especially because the adapter is made of aluminum, you're gonna strip it real quick. So whatever snug is, and then an extra quarter of a turn and that's it. There we go, we'll leave it at that for now. If it uh, has any issues with leaks, I can always tighten them more. Last but not least, we have the uh, quick release for the air hose that we uh, put more Teflon on there and we're gonna reattach to the top of the tank. Okay, here we go, finished product. So we've got the ARB compressor right here, the air tank, the quick adapt for the air hose. We've also got the dash three line that goes from the tank all the way into this T of the compressor. 
and then you've got the pressure sensor up here which shuts it off uh, when it hits 150 psi but um, it looks pretty close with the hood I think it should clear just fine and see if I can get a better angle yeah right there it should close just fine, but uh, let's double check and find out. Since I can't tell if it's going to be hitting or not, because when the hood is closed, the hood is closed, I'm going to put a little dab of anti-seize right at the highest point. So if when I close the hood and I see some anti-seize on the hood itself, then I know it's kind of too close. So let's see. So there is the anti-seize and on the hood, nothing, clears just fine. And now to check for leaks, so on, so at some point it should turn off and not have to turn back on again. Okay, so now it turned off, if it turns back on from somewhere, uh, if it turns back on, then I know there was an air leak. Seems to be fine. I don't hear anything. But now the tank is all charged up, 150 psi in here. So now with the air tank in here, let's see how long it'll take for us to air up. Let's air down to the same psi as before. To be consistent, I'm gonna have the car on as well. And the compressor on. Now the compressor is fully charged, including the tank. The last time it was two minutes, 26 seconds, and we are roughly right about at 18 PSI again. So here we go. And there we go. It's right about 35 PSI, just like before. And uh, we saved 15 whole seconds. Now we wanna release all the air pressure that's stored in the tank. So that way you're not carrying a tank of charged air uh, when you're driving around the city. There we go, a little more pressure. That's it for the install. In hindsight, probably should have taken the battery tray back out so I can easily access the mounting bolt. But hey, mm. do I think the extra work and the cost involved with the air tank is worth it? Mm, maybe. Um, I'm not sure yet, only time will tell. If you're interested in doing this install yourself, go ahead and check in the description below for a list of all the parts and where you can get them. If you enjoyed this install, check out my other Land Cruiser videos. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.